Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we are looking at New Finishes ceramic coating, which is in a spray bottle, and their new graphene coating. Um, basic gist of this video is same bottle, different sauce, because these are very different products as far as application, um, consistency. This one's very watery, and this one is very thick. Uh, and you can see the color difference in the bottles. The, this is darker. Um, but <clears throat> we're gonna compare the two. I think this is about three or four dollars more than this guy. They are the same quantity, um, and they're the same bottle. Uh, they have the same trigger. This one's jammed up somehow, so I just had to throw in a dummy replacement. But um, overall, on the face of it, you think one of them is just a little bit better. Um, it's interesting to see that this one has the up to 100 wash claim and this one does not. But you will see in the hydrophobics and chemical resistance that there is a difference between these two. Um, beyond that though, we're obviously we're gonna look at gloss and fill, uh, the chemical resistance and hydrophobics. Um, there is some notes on the back here under the tips section, it's right here. Um, they say to go over it with a damp microfiber after everything's done uh, to remove high spots. And I think that's what happened on my test panel when I was doing the water part of this test it looked like there was a piece that wasn't fully buffed off, even though I buffed it pretty thoroughly. Um, might not be a bad idea to fall around with a damp microfiber and just, you know, knock those high spots off. It does not need to cure according to the bottle, so you should be able to get it wet after you buff off your initial application. Um, I let them cure for about five days before doing my testing, and again, I didn't see any difference from previous performances, so... Um, it seems to be pretty true on that in that regard, but before we get to the hydrophobics, let's have a look at the gloss and the fill, and we'll talk a bit about slickness just using the back of my hand. Anyway, let's do it. Okay, so we've got the black panel here for testing the filling um, and just, um, visual appearance improvements, I guess you could call it. Um, so in the middle here, is the control section from that line to this line and then we've got graphene on this side ceramic on this side and i checked these the day after i applied them again these have been on here for five days but you will probably see what i saw which between this side and this side The graphene one filled much more, which is pretty crazy. I did not expect to see a huge difference, but again, they are very different products in the bottle. And it clearly shows when it comes to the gloss and the hydrophobics, the graphene for four bucks more seems to be the one to get, but I'll let you judge for yourselves. Um, nothing's blind in this test. Uh, I, some people don't like that. So we're going to do that one, this one without, because we're just doing two products. The results are clearly speaking for themselves. There's not much to interpret differently. So <clears throat> let's get into hydrophobics. Um, check out how they perform after some regular washing and some APC hits. And then we'll get to conclusion.
Okay, everyone, we are into the wash section after looking at the hydrophobics and we will be starting with a bucket of your regular wash soap applied with a little uh, 3D brush here, uh, or detail factory brush I should say, and then APC mix 10 to 1 as the follow-up for chemical resistance. Again, new finish ceramic is on this side and graphene on this side. So I'm going to uh, film this. I'm going to speed through the actual washing parts, but we'll see how <clears throat> they hold up after a few hits and rinses with regular soap, see if there's any drop off. And then we'll hit up to the APC and see if there's any difference between the two uh, there. So without further ado, Okay, so we'll check first with the mist setting. Same as before, so it held up to that, no problems, which you, know, you kind of hope. Not really seeing a difference there. They're both very, very even and um, the beading is the same consistency. Sheeting speeds are the same. So we're not gonna learn anything from soap alone. We're gonna have to step it up. Um, let me quickly mop the floor and we'll get into the APC. Okay, so now we are going to put on the APC. Uh, it is 10 to one Meguiar's APC. I, it's what I use for pretty much all my videos right now. Um, if I make a change there, I will obviously say something, but um, it's not a crazy strong degreaser APC. It's more interior focused, but you can use it on the uh, exterior as well. So I'm gonna put this on, I'm gonna let it dwell for a bit before I scrub it in. And then, um, you know, if nothing changes after the first pass, uh, we'll punch in maybe after two or three or whatever, I maybe start to see a difference and maybe stop it at five. I'm not going to go crazy here, but, uh, yeah, see you then. Okay. So I just did two passes with the APC and rinsed it off and I'm seeing something very weird. Um, and it's, it's almost like there was, um, the wipe off maybe on the graphene side wasn't that good because it was really grippy. But look at the hydrophobics on this side compared to this side. Uh, I'm seeing a slowdown here. It is getting slower. This side's getting faster. And um, I'm a little confused as to why. Like, that's way better. I'm gonna zoom this in because this is crazy. Those beads are way better than they were when we started this. And there were some weird lines and residue and I don't, I don't know what that was, but I buffed this thing off very well. Um, but if you look at the other side here, Like you can see their beads are losing their shape and under flood, it's getting slower. Whereas this side has gotten faster. So I don't think I'm gonna continue on because I've already seen the difference between the two. Um, this isn't about wearing off the paint to see which one fails last or first or whatever, but um, uh, that's that's interesting. That must have had some excess on there. And I, I do put them on kind of thick, but I always work them in really well and then I buff them off really well. But this, I guess, needs to be used pretty sparingly and it needs a really thorough buff off. Or, you know, maybe just wash the car afterwards. And it's only been 
five days since I applied these. Uh, they have no cure time, they say, so I just gave it a few days just to be safe. But um, this graphene stuff from New Finish is <laughs> this is a this is different. They, they have the same bottle, but they are a different sauce. So yeah, let's go to the conclusion. Okay, guys. So for the conclusion, a um, couple of things to note. Besides the price difference on application, and I forgot to mention this during the gloss fill, this is much slicker and much easier to work with than this guy. Um, this is quite thick. Uh, use it sparingly, but use an applicator and be very thorough that you're consistently covering because it could be splotchy, but it is much harder to buff off. It is not, um, it is not a slick buff off. This one is. It's actually quite slick after removal and during removal. So... If you want a really slick car and you're not super into crazy tight beating, which this one seems to have uh, over this, maybe this is better and save a couple dollars. Uh, again, but the hydrophobic performance and the chemical resistance performance of this guy, plus the gloss and fill, man, uh, pretty damn good. I might have to throw this one into a long-term test with some other products like uh, the... Um, the Seal and Shine new version, or uh, um, I don't know, something. I'll figure it out. But I'm really impressed with how this is performing initially, and I want to see it long term. And I'm at the point now where one of my cars' test on the hood can be wiped out and redone. So I'm going to work on that. Maybe I'll put a poll up later, and you guys can tell me what you want to see it tested against. Um, and if I've got it, I'll do it. If I don't have it, I'll try and get it. But yeah, very impressed with this. Application is a bit of a bit of a grind. It's it's not the slickest, it's not the easiest, but hydrophobics, gloss and fill, and overall price to how much you get, not bad. Um, these two guys are pretty good competitors, and they might be uh, they might make for a good comparison, but I'll try and figure out a few more. And again, I'll do up a poll and you guys can tell me what you want to see. Um, and we'll go from there. But I think that should be a fun test. We're just ending summer here now. It's starting to cool off. So this will be an interesting one to go through fall and see how they handle all that. But anyway, thank you again for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Next one.